DJ Pro Library Setting Tutorials. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and we're going to talk about it. What's up, DJs? So today, we are going to be adjusting the settings in the library in DJ Pro. So DJ Pro makes it very easy for us to adjust the settings and make the app our own. So let's get started right now. So we're going to go over here to the middle button and then we're going to go to settings. Now we're going to scroll down right under the sound settings is the library settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on sound. No, we're going to click on library. So here we are in our library settings. We have a couple of things we could select on, select off, or change the settings of. So let's start with the first one. The first one says remove songs when played. This is referring to removing songs from the queue. So to add a song to the queue, what you do is you go select any song. We are going to do pump it by the black eyed peas. Press these three buttons here and you'll get a list of options. And one of them would be, well, one of them would be add to queue. You press add the queue. You could use the queue if you're DJing and you think of a song that you want to play later or if you want to have a list of songs that you would like to play or just a convenient place to store songs. A queue also is another word to say for like a line. So if there was a line at the Walmart, there was a lot of people at the register, you would say there is a long queue. So now we are going to add it to the queue. And now to access the queue, if you see this library screen, it could be a little bit confusing because they made it over here as playlist, then sessions, then queue. But you could also have it set to your history. That'll be songs that you played uh, recently. Or you could have it on the match feature. I made a specific video about that. So if you had that selected and you were to look at this, you wouldn't see any queue option, but it's still there. You just have to cycle through it. So now we're in our queues. And now we have Pump It by the Black Eyed Peas. So we're gonna load the song and it doesn't remove it as soon as you load the song. It doesn't remove it if you play the song and there's no volume coming out like that. You see it's still there. But if you do have the volume on and there's actual sound coming out, even for a second, it's removed from your cue. So this will help you not to repeat songs and not to play songs more than once because as a DJ when you're doing a gig, you definitely don't want to be a song repeater and play the same song multiple times. Sometimes it's hard to keep track, but this is a good way to do it. Also in your regular playlist, there will be a check next to the songs that you play. You see how this check is here? That means that you played the song. So let's go back to our library settings. Press the middle button, go over here, and now we're going to go back to library. The next setting is to hide songs from in the crowd. So we're going to go over here and I took a picture of the, the user manual of this section and they did not explain what this does. I don't put songs in the crowd, so I'm not really too sure what this does. And in the user manual, it doesn't explain it. And if you're wondering how to access the user manual, you could press the middle button, go to settings, scroll all the way down, and it will say user manual, and then you could open it and you have access to the full user manual. I read it cover to cover multiple times, so you don't have to. So, and that's where I get how I make my videos. So now we're gonna go back to library. The next one is show artwork. What this does is it shows the artwork of the track, the album cover, or like the CD cover. So if you look over here, it says back to school. This is from the Black Eyed Peas album. And now we're gonna go back to our library and we are going to turn it off turn it off and now we don't see it so it doesn't change the record on the record deck the artwork but if you look over here in this playlist we're just getting the name of the songs and then their sources but if we turn back on the artwork library show artwork and now we go to the library we get the album cover over here when we're choosing the songs. This could be very helpful because 
some songs and some artists you could recognize right away faster than you could read the name. You could just see the album cover and know what it is faster. As a DJ, it's always important to be able to find songs fast and do things fast. So this helps, and I always keep this setting on. All right, next we're going to go back, library. Now the key. It says key match, fuzzy, which is kind of funny. It says fuzzy or exact. What that means is when you press the the key, key lock, which is this little small music sign over here, you could either have it go exactly to the have it stay at the exact key, or you could have it fuzzy, which I guess means close to the exact key. Again, this is another setting that the user manual has not caught up with. So key format, open key. So it just says you could toggle between these, and that's not even the same thing that we see now with the update. So let's go back to the app, and then we are gonna go format, so yeah, that was the format. So the, the, you can't change. It doesn't tell you anything about the exact or fuzzy, but the format you could do musical key, musical key, numeric key, open key. I guess this is if you are have a background in music, like playing the piano and stuff like that, this will help you. I don't, the only musical experience I have is from DJing and with DJ Pro, so I don't really get too involved with the key except for putting in the key lock on when I'm doing big BPM transitions. Now we're gonna go show key, show keys in different colors. So we are gonna select that. And every color is gonna have a different key. This will make it easier for you to spot the keys if you do a lot of key mixing. I do not really worry about the key that much when I DJ, so I do not use this setting. Now let's go over here back to the library. And then down here we have the streaming quality. So you could either choose normal, high, or hi-fi. Hi-fi re requires the hi-fi subscription with Tidal. Tidal streaming service offers a hi-fi option, so if you want extremely good quality, then you could do this. Um, you're really not able to notice the difference unless you have really high quality speakers, so it's not necessary, and then it'll also take a lot longer for the songs to load, so it is recommended to keep it on normal. So if we go over here back to the user manual, it does not say anything about that. So let's go back. Now the other one is video quality, the same type of thing. Um, DJ Pro allows you to play music videos and you could also use music videos streaming from Tidal streaming service. And I say it in a lot of my videos that nowadays people get bored really easily. So it's great to have a screen with some videos playing. And then I would recommend keeping it on medium so it's not completely low quality. But again, it doesn't use up a lot of space and loading stuff up when you're trying to do stuff with streaming services, which is important because if you're DJing and you want to play a song and it hasn't loaded yet, you're kind of screwed. And now then the next thing is log out. So whatever, whatever streaming service that you are currently logged into in the app, you will be able to log out. So if something's freezing, if you added something to your playlist and you don't see it, or if you're having any difficulties, um, the classic way that, you know, it always works if you log out and log back in is the first step to fixing one of these issues. So this is where you can do it. Also, if you have different accounts, if you signed up with a different email or something and you want to use a different account and you're wondering how to log out of the streaming service, this is how you do it right here. So if you guys have any other additional questions about the sound settings or about anything regarding DJ Pro, leave me a comment. I try to get back to all the comments in a timely fashion. And if you're interested in learning how to DJ on the iPad and learning everything there is to know about DJ Pro, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you.